The year is coming to an end, ladies and gentlemen. The money is made pretty much. You got a couple more days before you guys can make some money. Both horse players, owners, trainers, everybody, man. You got a couple more days and then all oh, and you, you know, it's the, the table starts all over again. Uh purse earnings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. But tonight, I want to introduce you to my man, Michael David. And um uh, good kid. Uh I spoke to him a couple minutes ago. And um pretty cool kid uh introduce him to all you guys out there haven't met him yet probably seen him here and there and um you know it's good that we can expose these uh these jockeys that we surround ourselves with who sometimes make money for us you know lots of money for us and um you know you got to know who these guys are who the players are right all right, no delay, man. Let's uh, let's bring him in. Thank you for having me, sir. I really like up, enjoy you watching your show. How you doing? Everything is going well. I'm trying to plug away, and I had a good ending of the season at at the. We're fine, and then I'm looking forward for next. Now there's a slight delay with uh with Michael. Uh, he's currently he has the uh, the uh, cordless headphones on, so there's a little bit slight delay. Plus he's down in uh, Penn National, and uh, you know we're just trying to get the feed going through the Wi-Fi, through where he's staying and stuff like that. So. You know, sometimes a little glitches here and there, but you know, it's good to have him on. And hopefully, uh, we don't lose him because uh, we've been trying battling with the uh, the connection earlier. And uh, you know, it was he explained to me, you know, the situation with the Wi-Fi and and so forth like that. Michael, can you hear me? It looks like we lost him for a minute there, so. We'll, we'll keep talking. I'll keep talking until he bounces back on. Uh, you know, it's it's not easy when you sometimes in these areas where um, the connections are so not so well. Uh, currently, he's as I said, he's done Penn National. <laughs> uh, he's working some horses. He had a couple rides last week, I think it was. Uh, he had a, uh, I believe, when last time I checked, as I checked the uh, profile and so forth. So he uh, had a, a fourth, and then he ran a second. Um, pretty sure he's working his tail off down there uh, with, with the guys who he surround himself with at, at Camp David. Um, so I'll wait, uh, give him a, a few minutes for him to bounce right back on again, um, and then we'll we'll keep going. But first of all, is, who's out there, man? Let's let's who's out there. <laughs> Someone says they wish Michael all the best. Uh, Don Pay National. Yeah. You know, it's, the American riding is never easy. You know, uh, you, Americans are very competitive. So uh, he's taking that plunge down, down, in, down in America uh, to see what he can do. And hopefully we, he can come back here as sharp, you know, in and ready to go again. Um, <laughs> you know, the thing with Michael is that um, I saw Michael ride at Woodbine in the last couple of days, and um, and uh, he 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 brought in a couple good good wins for the for the, for all the audience out there. Michael, I'll bring you on in a second. Just hang on there, buddy. Just position, and I'll, I'll get you on right back in a second. All right, no fear, man. I know the connection is not the greatest, so just hang tight, buddy. <clears throat> sort yourself out, and we uh, one second. <laughs> I think you're good there, Michael. I think you can hear me. So, so just uh, just hang tight, while I, and I'll bring you in in a second. Okay. All right. So let's get Mike. Let Michael going. 
again, all right? Buddy? Michael? Hello. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's fine, man. You know, Wi-Fi, you know, all the stuff that happens, it happens, you know? Yeah. So just I just sit bad. tight and uh, I know you're using the headphones and it's a two second delay. So uh, just hang tight and I'll, I'll let you listen to my questions. We'll talk a little bit and then, you know, we'll get going. So again, welcome, man. Thank you for having me. I'm like, yeah, really enjoy watching your show, and it's, I'm really excited about this. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited too, my, by the way. I want to ask you this, man. How did you get involved in racing, man? My uh, dad's family were all jockeys. Uh, my uh, uncle Ron. He's Roger, Noel, Rudy, and then and they all rode in the United States and in Canada. And then my mom, she owned race horses before I was born. Oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, so are you? Uh, you got both American and Canadian citizenship. Is that how that works? When, right now, I, I'm just only be able to ride for Canadians when I'm in the riding in the states. But right uh -huh. now, I'm just riding for Stephen Turcotte. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, what, what's the feeling like right now down in uh, down at Penn National? Uh, how's it going down there? Everything is going really well right now. I had a second the other day, and I was hoping to hang on. And the connections are a little bit, a little bit bad, but um, we'll get it sorted out. I think you can hear me now. It's, it's not, it looks like it's going. Yeah. It's All right. Cool. Now. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. So, so you've been riding uh, race riding for two years now, haven't you? Yes, I have. And um, I want to ask you this. Uh, what was that feeling like? Because I saw the picture and the photo that I have up with you, with you on it. That's the, the your very first win, I believe. And I'm wondering, what was that feeling like after the very first uh, race that you won? What was that like? Uh, the Philly that I rode, I uh, galloped her the week before. And then Richard Davis the trainer that rode me on her, he uh, told me this will be your first winner. I had your father's last winner, and then I'm going to have your first winner. So that gave me really confidence going into the race. And then, so on race day, I was, my stomach was upset just waiting to get on the horse. And then once I got in the gate, I was all focused, and she broke on top, and we won so easily. And then I, passing the wire, I did a fist pump. It was really exciting feeling. And then, and then it was actually a good photo that the lady took. I mean, with the diamonds in her eyes. Well, you. Well, you... Right after I gave her a hug and a kiss, and 
and then she was so excited, and then couple, and then I rode three more races, and then I won the my fourth race of the day, and then after I won my second of the day. I was hyperventilating after. <laughs> I'm pretty then, sure, man. It's like it's a very exciting day. Yes, I, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, you, you won more than one on that day. At, at least that's some of the fans are saying. The, the fans are telling me that you 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 had that race, but you had another one also on that day. So that's pretty cool. Um, that must be full of emotions, you know. What was what was the family like? Uh, all the celebrations and everything else. Well, the first call I really got is from my mom, and she was crying. <laughs> and then, I, and then I had so much emotion. It's like I had a couple of t uh, tears in my eyes. Just listening to my mom. And then the satisfaction for all the hard work I got myself to that point, and I was really happy. And then uh, uh, after I talked to my mom on the phone, my dad called me, and he was really proud of me, and he's, he told me those were the best two nights so far. Even today, he tells me that. And, and and that that must be an awesome uh, experience to hear from your dad about that stuff, right? You know, just to hear how happy he was that you have yeah. won those races. It's like I know that more impressed with the second one when I went on uh, on Seal Team Two. Say it again, sorry. So my dad told me he was most impressive with the second winner of that day when I oh. went on uh, CR Team 2. I eventually oh. won three races straight with him. Oh, I gotcha. Well, that's pretty good to hear, hearing it from your dad. Uh, let the people know who your dad is, uh, just in case people are wondering. My father is uh, Daniel David. And then... He lived at Lapine, Quadari, and Stampede Park. Very nice. Uh, it just goes to show you that, you know, jockey smart. blood goes a long way. <laughs> yep. That's right. Correct. Now, I got let's talk. Good breeding of jockeys. Now, I know there's a slight delay with, with our communication here, so I'm just going to try to go as slow as possible so that I don't uh you know talk over you i don't want to do that i hate to do that i don't like doing that over with people so uh, i'll try my best to uh to slow down and here. get in there <laughs> um here. hey look man um someone is calling me here let me just uh, uh let me ask you a question here so what's the jock What's the jockey's room like these days as you become a, a journeyman? Because I hear now that you're you're no longer the bug boy. You've become a journeyman. Uh, a lot of people, uh, a lot of jockeys are really good to me, which is... I think we we think we froze again. Uh, cool. Again, I want to remind everyone and that you know he's okay. he's at a, a racetrack. Oh, you can, oh, here you go. Yeah, he's at the racetrack, and sometimes the Wi-Fi is not always the best. Hey, Dan. Hey, uh, uh, Michael. Uh, are we back on track? Yeah. All right. Cool, man. Hey, look, um, so do you have some mounts coming up down Payne National? Uh, I won't have anything 
until the new year. Until the new year. Well, you know, uh, the new year is just next week, so I'll, I'll keep my uh, I'll keep my legs crossed and uh, be waiting to watch these races as they come along, man. I'll be really excited for the new year. Hopefully, hopefully I can start it with a good start. Yeah, well, let's hope that the year starts off with a bang and you get uh, in the winner's circle pretty soon. As soon as you get in there, you'll be seeing it up on Burning Track. My man, Mike, uh, Mikey David, uh, wins first at Penn National. Is this the first time you're riding down in America? I think he's paused again. Um, and it's to I, adjust to, to the style. Oh, sorry. Hard to adjust to the style of from Canada to the United States. I think we're having a bad connection, um, so we we may have to uh, <laughs> let's adjust some settings here and get him going. Um, maybe if you just forget about the um, the headset, and um, and we'll see if that helps. So hang on, hang on, guys. Uh, let's try to get Michael going again. Um, Try to get him going again and, and see if uh, it's a little bit clearer because there's a slight delay. Uh, we'll add you back in here again there, Mikey. <clears throat> Once you're ready, give me the thumbs up and we will we'll get you going there again, Michael. All right. Once, once you're ready, just give me the thumb, th thumbs up, and uh, we'll, I'll get you get you in. All right, buddy. <clears throat> they say life on the track ain't easy. One second. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, seems like everything's ringing off right now. Um, you know, is that? <laughs> seems like when the rain fall, it pours, and um, you know, we get once it starts drizzling, we get storms and everything else. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready, then, Michael. All right, we're good to go, man. Let's get this, get this thing popping. Here we go. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries, man. That's a lot, a lot better, a lot clearer. You good? Yep. All right, look and at that. I got one of my buddies too, Randy Thompson. Hey, Randy. What's going on, buddy? No, no, no. Hey, tell me why you can jump yeah. in here too, eh? <laughs> no, no, no. That's your show, man. Hey, look. Give um, me the key to talk to you, man. <laughs> Hey, look! I'm so glad I have Michael on here. Michael, um, I think I think your phone is proper now, right? Yep. All right, man. All right, let's get back to this. Get uh, let's get this in. And let's keep going. Um, so, when you're not writing, Michael, what are you usually doing when you're not writing, man? I usually like to go for nice walks. And then try to keep my mind busy or try to go to places and check out things. So you just try to keep active, I guess. <laughs> and then 
once in a while I just play video games and whenever I have time to do it. It's not very very often. Uh, what's the what's your favorite video game? My favorite video game is always any kind of horse racing game. Lately, what I've been playing is the Gallop Racers. Keep mm -hmm. me in the, my jockey frame of mind. Yeah, that's 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 probably a good one. Any, anything with horse racing, uh, I'm pretty sure it can keep your heart racing as well. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you ever get excited when you see uh, uh, some of the races going, and you 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 have a favorite horse or a horse that you worked or anything like that? Every time the the horse Ironstone runs. For William, for William Armada, I uh, raced him a bunch of times as a two years old before he raced, and I just the uh, way he goes is unbelievable feeling. Yeah, that's that's a nice one. That's a very nice one. Um, I I know that's a nice one, but uh, you know you you work him as a two year old, but uh. I'm pretty sure you can't wait to get the uh, the afternoon call one one of these days. Yeah. Like, even with my favorite horse Sub Zero Plus, I always excited when I get on here. I want. I also want to ask you this because uh, I saw you ride at Woodbine uh, the last couple weeks of the meet, and. I think one of the one of the uh, the races uh, you brought in a long shot. Does, does that ever go through your mind? The odds or anything like that? You just want to defy the odds? Yes and no. Because my my horses doesn't know the odds are, and they just want to run. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You know, you just want you just want to get the horse to the to the finishing line. Horse doesn't know the odds. You, we see ninety nine to one win. We see eighty to one win. So it doesn't matter what what the odds are. <laughs> are Are you a sports fan? Do you Do you watch anything else besides horse racing? I watch the NFL, NHL, the MLB. Recently, I've been watching the FIFA World Cup, and then I was disappointed that England lost, but it had to happen. Well, look, don't be don't be so disappointed because uh, we're well used to England losing now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, do you have a bucket list um, uh, of races that you would like to be in one day? The number one is the King's Plate. Because my family have not won the Queen's Plate. My dad finished second in 92. My uncle Ron, he finished second. He just got beat by Sandy Holly and one of them. I can't remember what year. And Rich, that, that is one race that... I really want to win. Hey, it's like man. my uncle won all the big races in the states. Hey, hey, if if uh, anyone uh, gets that first King's Plate, that's going to be the one uh, that's going to be planted in history uh, forever. So you know, good luck to you and your and your dreams about that. But uh, you got a lot of guys that's I mean, gunning for that one. Mm -hmm. These are uh, pretty loud down there. Uh, are, sorry. What what's the atmosphere there like with uh, Randy and and Stephen? 
It's pretty good. When it, like, Randy, he gives me a lot of confidence when I ride. And he tells me what I can learn, what to do, which helps. Nice. And nice. I'm really grateful that he does that. Now, now um, as a jockey, um, who, who gave you your... Uh, your first shot in a race? My first ride was for really Amada at the Fort Erie. Nice, nice. Now he, he's, he's, uh, he's done some really good things uh, again this year and um, it must be really exciting for you to be within that camp and getting uh, one or two horses from them. Um, what's the relationship like with you and Willie and the whole crew? We're really good friends. There's, I always ch chat with them when I'm down here to keep in tab with them and then see how things are going and then set up plans for next year. Nice. Where, where, did, where, where, where did you start galloping? Oh. I started uh, galloping for the release cousin, the Pietro Amada, and for Ross Amada. Nice, nice. And then, and then I started moving on to really and um, Robert Rose, and then I'm just I gone up. On. And I and I have to ask you, uh, was this always a dream of you of yours, uh, just to be on top of the horses and, and, and riding some races? It's always been my dream since I was very little. Nice. And I, you know, my dreams dad do come true. At one point, yep. It's like my dad made a homemade wooden equalizer, and I used to get on every time I'm at his place. Very nice. Have my dad's old saddles, and then whips, and then the saw cloths I got from whipping. <laughs> and it just made me have good practice on it. Nice, nice. And I hear that you used to um, you used to dress as a jockey when you were very young, and you know you always <laughs> wanted to be in there. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> now you now you can do that all the time. <laughs> I got a bunch of newspapers with that. Hey, look, man! I think uh, I think this is special. I think this is special for you. You know, it's more than 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 um, than I can even imagine. Um, just you know, just doing what you dream all, all along about doing. So, uh, you know, kudos to you, man. I'm, it's like every time I sit on a horse, I'm excited and anticipating a good ride and try to win, try to do my best to win races. I think I got your mom somewhere. She's uh, she's tuning in and watching. Uh, Obviously, she's your biggest uh, yeah. fan, your biggest supporter. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it's always nice to see that, you know. Just one of my biggest fans. And I really appreciate what she does, does for me to help me achieve my goal. Very nice, nice. And what's it like um, writing for Steve, Steve Jerko? It, I like working for Steve. He's relaxed, and what? When I ride races for him, he just gives me a lot of confidence, and that that helps me when he gives me good confidence. 
Very, very nice. It's always good to have that support and encouragement from uh, the ones around you. Look, I don't want to take a lot of your time because I know that uh, time is money in horse racing, as they say. And uh, I'm pretty sure you got to yeah. get lots of rest because you got to get up early in the morning and probably gallop some horses. Yep. <laughs> hey, look, anytime you can tell Randy, he can jump in or or you just shout those guys for me and say hello for me. And uh, perhaps we can catch up another time. All right. Thank you, America. Yep. Amen. Good. All Thank right, you very man. much. I'll let Randy know. Oh, most definitely. So I, again, look, man, um, I'm going to be watching you. Keep an eye on you now, Michael, for, for your races. And uh, maybe I'll find $2 to put on put on one of your horses. And uh, maybe it can make me uh, maybe about a, a killian. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> hey, look, man, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Um, let's do this again another time, my friend. Thank you very much. I man, really man. appreciate it. All right, you're welcome, my man. Stay safe, okay? Yep. You too. Have a nice New Year's. Thank you, and same to you and the entire camp down there in Penn National, all right? Every day. Thank you. All right. Hey, look, that was uh, Michael. And I uh, tell you what, it's always uh, good to see dreams coming true. And uh, one of his dreams was to always ride, uh, race ride, and um, it's happening. So uh, for most of you guys out there who got dreams, just like Michael, you go ahead and reach for this, reach for them, man, and get make it happen. Um, you know, it's really nice to see a kid like him and how he's uh, developing to a, to a rider, um, being able just to get um on the horses and, and make things happen um so that's really cool and I, I really applaud him and all the guys around him for for making his dream come true uh that being said um you know maybe um keep an eye on michael you know keep an eye on the races you never know what's to happen for you guys out there who you know are monitoring races all right and like to play them so until next time we do this again Stay tuned, all right? Here, guys. <laughs>